Have you ever wanted to do green screen like this? I'm Ray the Video Guy and over the next couple of minutes I'm going to show you how you can do green screen with Final Cut Pro. He's Ray the Video Guy, yeah I'm Ray the Video Guy. His YouTube ninja tricks can make your marketing so sick. He's Ray the Video Guy, yeah Ray the Video Guy. Okay, so here we are inside of Final Cut Pro, and what we have here is a video of an actor on a green screen, and this is a video for a dental procedure. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to remove the green background so that we can put him into other situations. So the way we do this is by starting off and clicking on the actual clip here. Now you'll notice that in this particular green screen, it's actually fairly well done. There's some darker areas here. You can see a dark area here and a wrinkle over here. So we're gonna see how well this screens right away. And the way we do this is by starting out with the effects and going to keying. Inside there, you'll see the keyer, which is built into Final Cut Pro. And when you hover <laughs> over the actual keyer in here, you'll see a preview of what this is going to look like. And you can see here that this is actually going to do a pretty good job even without a lot of effort. So we're gonna take this effect here and we're gonna drag it and we're going to drop it onto our video clip here. And you'll see it keys out the background automatically. Now, if this wasn't a very clean background, we may have to put a little bit of extra effort into it. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to come over into the effects area where the keyer is located. And here you'll see a whole bunch of different settings that you can use to make this work even better. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by coming in here and I'm gonna bring the strength down just so you can see what happens when it's not a perfectly screened background. And you can see you may get something that looks a bit like this, where you've got some of these areas that are more keyed than others. And this happens because of the lighting in the background. And if it's not perfectly even, you can run into these issues. Now, in this case here, we're kind of testing this to the extreme, but just by bringing this up in strength, it's gonna clean that up pretty quickly. In fact, this does a really good job with this. And if we need to do any extra work, we could actually bring this down so you can see some of the background here. If you have some of these areas that are not quite keying out for you, there's a few different options that you can use. The first is, of course, to make sure that your strength is up high enough that it actually keys out the background without removing any of the actual actor. The next thing that we can do is we could actually sample the colors by clicking on this button right here and then drawing a box in the area where you see this background. So we see some background here, here, and here. And so if we were to highlight this just like so, you'll see it removes some of that background and as we get further and further, it's gonna remove more and more of that background. Now it didn't do it perfectly, so we have the option of actually clicking on this again and doing it even further until we get exactly what we're looking for. Now you can see that did a pretty good job of removing all of that. And again, you can kind of see a little bit of edge on his head right here. Now again, if we bring this up, you're not gonna have any of that. It's gonna remove that for you. But for this particular situation, we're trying to show you how to fix uh, any issues you might have. So when we look at this here and we see this edging, we can actually fix this by using the mat tools. Now the mat tools are right here. And if we click on this here and bring it down, you'll see that there's a few different options in here. One is the levels, and we can actually play with the levels a little bit to see if that cleans it up. And you can see it kind of does a pretty good job of cleaning that up there and removing that. The other option is we can actually expand or contract the mat by clicking on this here and dragging it in either direction. And you can see as we drag it to the left, it actually starts to contract that down and you can actually see some holes are starting to form in his suit jacket because there are some reflections of green that are in there. So we're gonna bring that back and you can see it comes back into there and if we move it forward in the other direction, it's going to expand it out and you'll start to see even more of an edge. So what we wanna do is we wanna balance this by coming to somewhere maybe just slightly negative to remove that little edge and now you can see it's a pretty clean line around him there. Now you will notice that it gets a little jagged in some of these areas and we have the option to soften that up a little bit by turning up the softening and you'll see it starts to really soften that edge. If you go too far, you'll start to see a ghosting effect. But if you use just a little bit of that, it's going to soften out some of those edges. Now you may start to see a little bit of the haloing again, which means that you have to play with some of these tools again to see if you can clean that up just a little bit, just like so. 
until you have the exact look that you're going for. Now there are some other options that we have in here. For instance, when we started to contract this down and we started to see some of those holes, such as right here, you can see just a little bit of a hole in there. Let's, um, let's get rid of the softening so that we can see those a little bit better here. So you can see that starts to pop up there. If you get a hole, there's actually a tool specifically for that as well. And if we come up here, you'll see there's a tool called Fill Holes. And what that's going to do is it's going to look for areas that have disappeared but probably shouldn't. And so if we take that and we drag that up, you'll see that instantly that little hole disappears. Now if we go too far, you can get some other issues in there. But for the most part, if we use that just a little bit, that's going to fill out those holes there. And you can see we're starting to get a very clean mat. Now, to make sure that this is really a clean mat, we actually have some compositing tools up here as well. Right now, we're seeing the full composite, but we can come here and we can click the mat tool here, and now you can see our mat and see how clean it is. And you can see it's a little bit jagged here, so we got a few different issues going on. And then here, you can actually see the softening very well. And of course, if we start to see any other issues, we'll actually see them in the mat even better than on the actual video. But all we want to do is play with some of these tools to make sure that we get the cleanest mat that we possibly can. And this is actually really good right here. So now that we have a nice clean mat, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a background. And so right here I have this image. It's just an image of a living room area. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that I'm going to drag that down into our project. Actually, first we're going to expand that out like so. I'm going to drag that down and bring that into our project here. And you'll see our actor is now keyed over that living room. And we can expand that out to fill the entire video. And it looks like he's actually standing in this living room. Now, you may not like the way that this is set up here. And you can actually click on the background and click on our transform tool where we can resize and reshape this to whatever size we want so that it fills the whole screen. And then we can also drag it and move it around just like so. And once we have this set, we can also do this with our actor. So we can choose his clip and again, make sure that the transform tool is turned on and we can drag him around the scene as well. So if we want to put him on the left or the right or in the center, we can do that just by dragging him around like so. We can also resize him, so if we want him to be smaller, okay, which doesn't look quite right, but we could make him bigger, and that actually looks a little bit better there, just like so. And once we're happy with our mat and we're happy with the way that this looks, we can then render out our video. And that's how you do green screening inside of Final Cut Pro. Well, there you go. As you can see, editing green screen videos is not quite as hard as you might have thought. In fact, the only thing it really requires is shooting the green screen correctly in the first place. And the way we do that is by using a proper green screen as well as the proper lighting. And we're going to show you exactly how you can do that in my free download on shooting perfect green screen videos. All you have to do is click the YouTube card, click the link at the end of this video, or click the link in the description down below, and you can download the guide right now.